and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing part two of my lipstick collection. Last time I did oranges, reds and purples and today I'm going to be doing nudes and pinks because that makes up the rest of my collection. I've actually filmed this video before but then the file corrupted and it all just went downhill from there so I gave it some time until I was chilled out and I'm ready to film this video again. So let's just jump in and get started. The first one that I have on my lips is the Sports Girl Powder About It lipstick in the shade Duchess. This is just a really beautiful pinky nude and it's just so feminine and pretty. It does have a lot of pink in it. Um, so keep that in mind if you are thinking about going and purchasing this lipstick. These lipsticks are very creamy and very affordable. I really do like these lipsticks, especially for their price. They are $9.95 from Sports Girl, but occasionally they'll have like little sales and stuff and they'll be cheaper than that. These are just beautiful lipsticks and I definitely would recommend these. The next lipstick I have is the Face of Australia Lip Quench Lipstick in the shade Lychee Crush. This is a very generic nude colour, like if I was thinking of the colour nude, this is what I'd be thinking of. It's a nice nude lipstick with a bit more of an orangey type undertone. And I just love this lipstick. I think they're very nice and very affordable as well. I love this like whole range. I have a few lipsticks um, from Face of Australia and they are really good. Very creamy, um, very wearable, easy to glide on and wait what? <laughs> very easy to wear and they glide on. That's what I was meant to say but they're just beautiful lipsticks and I really like this shade. The next lipstick I have is more of an orangey type lipstick but I've got it here anyway and it's the Australis Color Inject Mineral Lipstick in the shade Fusty and I got this quite a while ago. I don't really like this lipstick. The color is okay I guess. You know I, it's very wearable like I would still wear it. I believe this is even limited edition but don't quote me on that. I just don't really find these lipsticks very appealing to me. Um, I just prefer other lipsticks I guess but there's nothing really wrong with them. I think it's just personal preference. The next lipstick is another Face of Australia Lip Quench Lipstick and this one is in the shade Peaches and Cream and this is a lot more pink than I remember it being but I really like it. I think it's really really pretty and feminine. I love pink lipsticks. I find them a lot wearable than a lot of other colours. But I just like this for the summertime and I just think it's really pretty and fresh and girly and I love these lipsticks as I've said before but this shade in particular is really gorgeous. This next lipstick is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in the shade Sugar Frosting and this is a very very fun and pretty colour. I would definitely recommend this for the summer and springtime if you're looking for a new sort of summer or spring inspired lip colour. I just love this. It's got a little bit of like shimmer and sparkle in it which I really like. It's very like glossy and it just makes your lips look really healthy and fresh. Next lipstick is super duper affordable so if you're on a budget, listen up. This is the Bow Beauty lipstick in the shade Perfect Pink and basically these lipsticks are big W's like lipstick or beauty range but these are the lipsticks and these are only $2 so super duper affordable and they're really good quality for two dollars. I've heard a lot of people rave about this brand and it's all true like I promise you guys go and get some. They are gorgeous. So this is a very nice bright pink and I'm obsessed with bright pink especially this type of shade like a very bright and light pink so you'll see me wearing this a lot this spring and summertime but it's just so beautiful and fun and I love it and it's very wearable like you can easily pull this off I find um, and I just love this they're super creamy and they go on so well the lasting power isn't too great but for two dollars I think you can like dismiss that a little bit because this is gorgeous like they're so pigmented as well. They're amazing lipsticks. Oh my god, I'm so excited to share this lipstick with you guys. This was like my first lipstick that I ever fell in love with and I wore religiously. So this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in the shade 006 Pink Blush. Beautiful shade, hands down. One of my top five lipsticks, easy. 
It is so gorgeous. Like I've loved it from the beginning and I still love it to this day. It's so gorgeous. And this lipstick range is super long lasting as it says in the name. It's just beautiful. It's very pigmented, just glides on, very creamy and buttery. And I just love this color so much. It's very, very nice. And they smell amazing. It's like vanilla. It's beautiful. Next lipstick is the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick in the shade 210 Fancy. And this is a more nude shade, still quite pink, and it has a lot of shimmer and sparkle in it. You can already see it in the actual lipstick container, but on your lips, it is just sparkly as hell. And you know, if that's what you like, that's fine. I definitely recommend this, like it's very nice. It does add a lot of moisture to your lips, which is very nice because I have been rubbing my lips after every time I try one of these ones on. Such a nice feeling, like having a lipstick that has a lot of moisture in it. I don't really wear this lipstick too often just because I don't really like too much sparkle on my lips. But if you do, get this because you're going to love it. This next lipstick is another Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 16 and this one I got from Maddie. It's just a very bright corally light pink and I love it. It's so girly, very florally and I just love this lipstick. I think it's so nice, very pretty, perfect for summer and spring by the way and as I've said before I love these lipsticks. Rimmel lipsticks are like my favorite. They're so good. And this colour is just so beautiful. I think I need to wear this more often. Next lipstick is a Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in the shade Coral Pop. And this is what it looks like right here. It is so pretty. Like, it's so summery. I say that about most of the pinks. But they're just such nice colours. And this one in particular is so creamy. It just glides on so nicely. And I find that this as well adds um, quite a lot of moisture to your lips. I just like how this lipstick goes on and it's one of my favourite types of lipsticks. Next I have a Sports Girl Pad About It lipstick in the shade First Date. This is what it looks like right here, another beautiful colour. This one is a little bit more matte compared to most of the other ones that I've showed you today. But it is just such a nice colour, it's really really nice. And what I like about this is you can just apply a little bit, and with all of them I guess, but this one in particular what I like to do is just add a little bit um, onto my lips and then blend it out with my finger and it just adds like a little bit of colour to your lips but it still looks really natural like I love this lipstick it's so beautiful and as you can see right here it's very wearable really really nice and creamy here is another lipstick from the Bow Beauty collection this one is in the shade Coral Kiss and it's just a very bright and vibrant pink now we're getting into some of the more darker pinks that I have and this is gorgeous I love this exact same as the other one very creamy pigmented amazing for the price only two dollars and it's just so beautiful it glides on so nicely it's a nice creamy formula very buttery and I just love the way that this looks I am a big fan of this lipstick although I haven't worn it for a while but I suppose that's because it's been quite cold and I've worn my darker lipsticks but still I need to wear this a lot more. Next is another Face of Australia Lip Quench lipstick. This one is in the shade Mocha Latte and this is a very Kylie Jenner type lipstick. I love it and it smells like chocolate. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. And I love this colour. I just love really nice nude deep brownie colours. I just find they work well with me I guess and I really just enjoy them um, but this along with all the other Face of Australia lipsticks I've shown you they're very creamy super duper pigmented perfect for the price and I just love them I think they're really really wearable and normally like I find it very hard to critique lipsticks but I just really like most of these lipsticks like they're amazing and this one in particular it's really good I really like this lipstick now we are up to the very last lipstick and it is a sports girl pad about it lipstick in the shade front row a very very intense and bright pink color I love this color I love bright pinks I just find them so fun and this one in particular is really nice it's more of a matte formula I'd say yeah it is a matte formula these lipsticks get me going like I love these lipsticks super cheap and really affordable very creamy and so pigmented like they look like half of the high-end lipsticks that I've tried and that's amazing like it's a third of the price or a quarter of the price it's amazing so I definitely recommend this one if you like really bright like fuchsia pinks it's oh, so gorgeous complete to my life 
So that's all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi.